Methods of Separation in Everyday Life Let's revise and recall. Some of the methods of separation discussed in this chapter are also used in a science laboratory. We also learned that a solution is prepared by dissolving a substance in liquid. More of a substance can be dissolved in a solution by heating it. Water dissolves different amount of soluble substances in it. In nature, we find that most substances are mixed with other substances forming mixtures. The substances or components in the mixture may be undesirable or even harmful to human health. In this chapter, we will first classify the substances present around us as mixtures and pure substances. Then we will discuss why do we need to separate different components of a mixture. A large number of methods are available which can be used for the separation of substances and for cleaning of food. Pure Substances A pure substance is a substance that contains only one kind of molecule. All particles of a pure substance are alike and pure substances have a definite and constant composition. All elements like hydrogen, oxygen, carbon, nitrogen, silver, copper, gold, etc. are pure substances. In the same way, compounds like sugar, sodium chloride, potassium permanganate, Water and carbon dioxide are also pure substances. Mixed substances A mixture is a substance that has two or more kinds of molecules. In a mixture, two or more substances of different kinds are mixed together. The different substances present in a mixture are called its components. You have learned about a mixture. Now let's study some types of mixtures. During summer, you often drink sharbat, which is a mixture of sugar and water. A cup of tea or coffee is also a mixture of several components. Sea water is a mixture of water and salts dissolved in it. You use nimbupani lemonade during summers. It is also a mixture of water, sugar, salt and lemon juice. In fact, most items that we eat are mixtures. All mixtures are impure because they contain more than one substances in them. The different substances in a mixture are called its constituents or components. Do you know? Most of the substances that you see or use every day are actually mixed substances or mixtures. The air that you breathe in is a mixture of various gases such as oxygen, nitrogen, and carbon dioxide. Mixtures are substances held together by physical forces. The physical forces that hold the molecules of different substances together in a mixture are called intermolecular forces. Features of a mixture the constituents of a mixture are not present in a fixed ratio. Ocean water in some region is saltier than in others. The amount of carbon dioxide and water vapor present in the air is also varies from place to place. No chemical reaction takes place among the constituents of a mixture. The forces which hold the constituents of a mixture together are weak and therefore the constituents can be separated by simple methods. The constituents of a mixture retain their original properties. For example, the ability of air to support combustion is due to oxygen is one of its constituents. The chemical property of table salt, sodium chloride, remains the same, whether it is part of a mixture, sea water, or present by itself. Fact file. The components of a mixture can be easily separated and each component retains its original properties. The proportion of the components is variable. Need for separation of substances from a mixture. 
we need to separate the components of a mixture for the following reasons to remove undesirable and harmful substances. In grains like wheat, rice and pulses, small stones may be present. These can be harmful, so it is necessary to remove small pieces of stones before milling wheat or cooking rice and pulses. Sometimes, sand particles are present in drinking water which must be removed. To obtain pure substances, Pure substances are required for various uses, so other substances should be removed to obtain them. To obtain pure metals like aluminium, copper, iron, gold, etc., impurities must be removed from them. To obtain desirable substances, crude oil is obtained from the earth. It is a mixture of petrol, diesel, kerosene and natural gas. All these components are very useful. So crude oil is separated into these components in refineries. Although many methods have been devised for separating the components of a variety of mixtures, in this chapter we will learn to separate the components of such as food and other substances mixture in order to make them clean and fit for consumption. Methods of separation of substances in a mixture The components in a mixture can be separated easily. To separate the components of a mixture, there must be a difference in properties between the components. Handpicking is a method of separating an unwanted solid impurity from a useful solid by hand. If some of the ingredients in a mixture are larger than the others, we can force the mixture through a sieve that permits only ingredients of a certain size to get through. The method of separation also depends on whether we have a mixture of solid, whether it is soluble in water or in any other solvent, etc. Let us study some of the methods that are used for the separation of the components of a mixture. Fact file. A solid can be weighed to determine how it is. As a form of matter, solids occupy space. Solids have a fixed shape and volume, which means they don't move to fill a container when they are placed in it. Separation of solids from other solids. Handpicking. Handpicking is a method of separating an unwanted solid impurities from useful solids by hand. Stones and other undesirable substances are handpicked from food grains and pulses in our home. This method is used when undesirable substances are present in small quantities. Threshing you must have seen bundles of wheat or paddy stalks lying in the field after harvesting the crop. Stalks are dried in the sun before the grain is separated from them. Each stalk has many grain seeds attached to it. The process of separating the grain from the stalks is called threshing. This can be done with the help of a mechanical device called a thresher or a combined harvester. The thresher has a rotating paddle that beats dry and brittle stalks. Winnowing The grains separated by threshing need to be winnowed. Winnowing helps in the separation of grains from the chaff. In winnowing, the mixture of grain and husk is allowed to fall down from a height. The grains being heavier fall down vertically and form a heap while the husk being lighter is carried away by the wind and forms a heap a little distance away. This method is called winnowing. Sieving This method is used to separate small pebbles which are mixed with seeds in large quantities. In this process, a sieve is used for sieving grains. The sieve is a vessel with a large number of tiny holes at the bottom or a tight wire mesh fixed at the bottom. The mixture is put into the sieve and rocked or moved about. The smaller particles pass through the holes and fall down while the bigger particles are left in the sieve. 
The method is commonly employed for the separation of wheat flour from the fibrous matter and wheat grains from impurities due to weeds in the main crop. Separation of solids from liquids 1. Separating insoluble solids from liquids Solids which are insoluble in water are generally heavier than other components of the mixture. They can be separated by the following methods. Sedimentation and decantation. Sedimentation is the process in which heavier particles of an insoluble solid in a liquid settle down. The particles that settle down are called sediments. Decantation is the process of pouring out the clear liquid after sedimentation without disturbing the sediment. The mixture of sand and water can be separated by sedimentation and decantation. To do this, allow the mixture to stand in a container for some time. You will see that the sand will settle at the bottom of the container, pour the top layer of water gently into another container, ensuring that the sand is not disturbed. Similarly, before cooking, rice and pulses are washed with water, the water is separated by decantation. Fact File Solid liquid separation is a key technology for the subsequent treatment of manure and wastewater mixture. It helps remove solids from manure slurry and to make both solid and liquid phases more suitable for further biological treatment. B. Filtration, the process by which two substances, an insoluble solid and a liquid, are separated by using a filter, is called filtration. It is a commonly used method in our homes. After preparing tea, we separate tea leaves solid from the tea a liquid by using a strainer. The strainer acts as a filter. By this method, insoluble solids of various sizes are separated from liquids by using a filter to separate small particles. You need a filter with small holes. A piece of cotton, a layer of sand, a piece of filter paper or piece of muslin cloth can be used as a filter. Nowadays, special water filters are used in our homes, offices, schools, etc. In these water filters, a ceramic porous pot is used as a filter. In most homes, we use special water filters to purify our drinking water. Many of them contain a porous pot or candle, which is a special clay filter with numerous fine pores or holes. When water passes through this candle, the pore strap particles, which are present in water, However, this water may still contain harmful bacteria which can make us sick. Modern electric water filters kill the germs which can make us sick. Such filters kill the bacteria using ultraviolet rays but do not kill viruses. The most effective way to purify water is by boiling it for 7-10 minutes after filtration. This kills most of the harmful germs, including some viruses. Go to friendly. When a water filter is considered eco-friendly, it usually means that it lasts longer than standard water filters, utilizes water more efficiently, and wastes fewer material. Centrifugation. The suspended particles in a liquid can be very rapidly separated by using the method centrifugation. It is done by a centrifuge machine. The mixture of suspended particles in a liquid is taken in a test tube. The test tube is placed in a centrifuge machine and rotated manually or electrically. As the mixture rotates, a force acts on the suspended particles. They settle down at the bottom of the test tube and the clean liquid remains on top. Centrifugation is used in milk dairies to separate cream from milk. Milk is rotated at a high speed in a container. The lighter cream is separated out and floats in the center. Go to friendly. Solar interfacial evaporation is a highly promising technology for seawater desalination and wastewater treatment. 
the simple preparation processes and efficient production of clean water based on biomass interfacial evaporators still need further exploration and development. Separating soluble solids from liquids, there are some solids which dissolve in water, common salt and sugar are such substances. These soluble solids can be separated from water by the following methods. Evaporation. Evaporation is the process of converting liquid into its vapor form. It is used to separate soluble solid particles from a solution. The dry solid particles are left behind when the liquid evaporates. Let us now perform the following activity to separate a mixture of water and salt by evaporation. B. Distillation, the process by which a pure liquid is obtained from a solution by evaporating and then condensing the vapor is called distillation. In the process of distillation, a solution is heated until the solvent starts evaporating. This vapor is then condensed to give back the pure solvent. The water obtained after distillation from a solution is called distilled water. Distilled water is used in the car laboratories and in car batteries. Water has the ability of dissolve a large number of substances in it, so it is called a universal solvent. Fact file Evaporation happens on a global scale alongside condensation and precipitation Distillation played a crucial role in the development of modern chemistry and it is also used in the production of alcoholic beverages. Separation using more than one method. Some of the mixtures cannot be separated by just a single method. More than one method may be employed for the separation of their components. For example, the mixture of salt, sand and water cannot be separated by a single method. To separate the components of the mixture, we will first use filtration separate this sand to from the mixture, then we will evaporate the filtrate to obtain the salt. The vapors of water can be condensed to obtain water in liquid form. Do you know? Kidneys filter the blood and this is how urine is produced. Water evaporates faster when it is warm and windy. Keywords Composition The parts that form something, the way in which the parts of something are arranged. Combustion A chemical reaction between substances, usually including oxygen and usually accompanied by the generation of heat and light in the form of flame. Sieve, a type of kitchen tool that has a metal or plastic net used for separating solids from liquids or very small pieces of food from large pieces. Harvesting, the process of gathering the ripe crops from the fields. Chaff, the husks of corn or other seeds separated by winnowing or threshing. Strainer, a kitchen tool with a lot of small holes in it, used to separate solid from liquids. Muslin cloth, a very thin cotton material or a piece of this material. Ultraviolet rays, a form of non-ionizing radiation that is emitted by the sun and artificial sources. Condensed reduced to a more compact or dense form. Synopsis. A pure substance is one in which all the molecules are of the same kind. A mixture is one in which all the molecules are not of the same kind. The different components of a mixture are separated in order to recover useful components or remove undesirable components. Solid-solid mixtures can be separated by threshing, winnowing, hand-picking, and sieving. Insoluble solid liquid mixtures can be separated by sedimentation and decantation, filtration, and centrifugation. 
soluble solid liquid mixtures can be separated by evaporation and distillation 